Welcome to Fighting Saints Weekly fans. Jordan Coons with you, and I hope that you have put your razors away because these playoff beards are here to stay. Jordan Coons with you as we look back to a series win against the Green Bay Gamblers in four games, defending home ice twice, and making sure that they move on to the Eastern Conference Final. It's the sixth consecutive season, on to the second round for the Fighting Saints. Huge weekend and able to defend home ice, win 6-1 on Friday night, and then a dramatic 2-1 win in overtime on Saturday night. Tremendous performances by Hunter Miska, Keegan Ford, guys who are veterans in this league and had the opportunity to shine through. And you'll get a chance to see not only that here in the upcoming highlights, but hear from the guys that made that happen and made it possible to move on to the second round. And we'll have details on that in just a second. But first, take a look back at the dramatic action, what was right here at our house. I think a lot of things have to come together to have a game like that. I think, uh, you know, sometimes you just make a pass and then another guy makes a play. And I think it was a little bit of that. And then our power play got a goal. So um, it was definitely a good team win for us. Um, Keen made a good play in the neutral zone, like poked away from their forward and Tyson picked it up and uh, their one forward was kind of flat footed. So I just jumped and Tyson made a good pass to me. Then I dropped it to Souls and uh, he kind of cut to the middle, took a shot and I just put the rebound five hole. I mean, the first one was just, I kind of saw a loose puck up by the D and I just able to have a good stick and had a break when I kind of prayed there. <laughs> I mean, I saw that there was a forward playing D, so I kind of just chipped it behind him. And the goal, I also saw the goalie start to come out, so it kind of was a hope play, just kind of whack at it, and I saw that was pretty much empty, so I just got a fortunate bounce there. Um, I saw Spencer uh, dump it in the left corner, and uh, I came off the bench, um, tried to make a move on the, the D-man there, and then uh, kind of had an off-angle shot, but I uh, saw the D uh, goalie coming over and there was an open open lane and then I took, put it to the net and somehow it went in. I really didn't know it went in until uh, I saw it actually uh, I, as I was coming behind the net. Um, I, I saw the net go, uh, hit the puck go in the back of the net and then I uh, saw the teammates come rushing at me um, off the bench. Yeah, he shot from, uh, I want to say, like top of circle area and the rebound went right out front to one of their guys. So I kind of just made a little uh, Superman diving save and uh, followed the puck all the way into my body and luckily I made the save. And it, I was a little bit uh, nervous that if I didn't have the stick there, those guys coming in on 2 on 0 like that, but uh, that was a huge help and uh, hats off to Keegan for playing a big part of that situation. Uh, that's huge and uh, having a stick like that takes away the five hole and uh, the guy tried going low blocker and made the save, put it in the corner and somehow they got another rebound in front and Keegan was there back door just in case they uh, tried coming around the other side. Bloomington's a, a physical team. Um, we need to capitalize on our chances. I know we've uh, played them a couple times in the season, and uh, they like to get on our skin, and we got to keep our cool and stick to the game plan. Oh, they're a really good team. They're really hard on pucks, and uh, they like to take the body a lot. So I think uh, we just need to play our game, follow our systems, and just we got to be quick and uh, got to get their D going in, into their end and uh, turn them around, and uh, we got to use our quick feet and attack their goalies. Oh, we're just going to need everyone to play their best. Every line's got to be going, every deep pair, our goalies. If we just stick to our game plan, our coaches have done a great job pre-scouting them, so we know what to expect. So if we play our game, we'll be, we'll be fine, I think. Yeah, especially with home ice here, we want to set the tempo right away, try and take advantage of it, and then um, hopefully get a couple wins and then go take care of business in Bloomington. I think the mindset is just stick to what works for us, uh, keep working hard, and we'll be fine. I feel pretty good. I'm really confident in our guys. Uh, we got a really good uh, offensive group of guys, and our defense have been playing really well too. So I think we're going to have a really good uh, good opportunity coming in this series. Up next on the docket is the Bloomington Thunder, the number four seed in the Eastern Conference. After winning in Game Five against the Cedar Rapids Rough Riders on the road, they were the best road team in the entire USHL. A team that is not to be trifled with when they're wearing the white sweaters. They're a fantastic team in terms of their ability to execute a size type game. They're a big team that likes to get the puck deep and work it from there. And that's how you win road games. You keep it simple. You get it done that way. The Fighting Saints won three of the four games against the Bloomington Thunder this year. As we saw, it helped them against Green Bay with a, a good regular season record. But that is not all that is said and done. Bloomington has been outstanding down the stretch. They had to be to create separation from Youngstown latter part of the season, and they'll be the opponents in the Eastern Conference Final. 
You can catch all the action on Super Hits 106. More information on DubuqueFightingSaints.com on all the matchups on our playoff hub. This has been Fighting Saints Weekly. Jordan Kuhn signing off, and we'll see you right here. Get loud, get proud, and again, keep this, all right? It's a promise. We'll talk to you next time.